Hi everyone, I'm Donna, the Technology and Media Librarian at Upper Arlington Public Library. I'm here with a short video to show you how you can pair the Libby app with your smart speaker, like an Amazon Echo or a Google Home, or with a Sonos speaker so that you can enjoy your audiobooks around the house. Uh, whether you're cooking or crafting or you just want the whole family to listen, it's a great way to bring the library into your home. First up, I'm going to show you how you compare your app so that it communicates with your smart speaker. Um, and just to be clear, we're going to treat these speakers as if they were dumb. So we're not going to use wake words, we're not going to use skills, we're just going to pair them through Bluetooth. So all you'll need is the device that you'll be listening with Libby, your smart speaker like your Amazon Echo, and you'll need the settings app on your device so that you can start your Bluetooth pairing. So let's get started. So when it comes to using your smart speaker, the connection is taking place through Bluetooth. We need to make sure that our mobile device, which also has the Libby app installed, has its Bluetooth turned on and is ready to connect to our Echo. I'm using an iPad for this video, so if you're on an Android device, your screen and the steps that you take to pair your Bluetooth devices will look different. No worries, check out the description below the video for some links that are specific to Android users. So I'm here in my Devices Settings app, I'm in the Bluetooth section, and I can see that my Bluetooth is turned on, that it's discoverable, and then here below under my devices, you can see I've connected to the Echo device that I'd like to pair with my Libby app. So um, if you're having any difficulty with Bluetooth on your device, there are a couple of steps you can take to troubleshoot, starting with turning off your Bluetooth and completely shutting down and restarting your device. You can also try to reset your network settings. Again, this is device dependent, so I've added a couple of links to support resources for Apple or Android users. So our Bluetooth is on, um, we've connected to the Echo. The next thing we need to do is launch the Amazon app that's installed on our mobile device. And for this step, make sure that you are signed into the Amazon account associated with your Echo devices. If this is your first time using this app or if you're not signed in, go ahead and pause the video and sign into the account now so you can follow along. Once you are signed in, the next thing we need to do is find our devices. So tap in the lower right corner of the app screen on the devices icon. On this next screen, tap on Echo and Devices so we can see the Echoes that are associated with your account and select the correct one. And then here I'm going to select the correct Echo Dot. And then here under Wireless, tap on Bluetooth Devices so that we compare a new device, namely your mobile device that you're using for this video. So you can see here, if we need to pair a device, go ahead and tap on the one that you see available. If it's not listed here, don't worry, tap on pair a new device and you'll start searching for one that you can use. I'm gonna go ahead and select my iPad since I know that that's the one that I need. And then when you select it, tap connect device. Now connected to Donna's iPad. And once your mobile device and your Echo are paired, you can switch back to the Libby app. Switch to Libby. And then here, you can see my audiobook. Select your audiobook to open it, and then tap the play button to play your audiobook through your Echo speakers. Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. And that's it. All you have to do is tap on the audiobook on your app, and it's ready to start streaming. No need to talk to your speaker. It's all done through the Libby app. Um, so as for Sonos, you can now connect your Sonos speaker and its app with your Libby app. This is a brand new feature for Libby. I just learned about it a week ago as of filming this. And what you'll need to get started is your Sonos speaker. Uh, make sure it's connected to the same Wi-Fi as your mobile device. And then you'll need to have both the Libby app and the Sonos app installed on that mobile device. So we'll get started and switch to the tablet. For Sonos, we need to open the Sonos app on our mobile device. And again, you need to be logged into your Sonos account so that you can add the Libby app to Sonos. I'm already logged in, I'm ready to go. If you're not, just go ahead and pause the video while you sign in and come back once you're ready. What you do need to do once you're signed in is tap below in the right corner of the app on the settings button because we need to add a service to the Sonos app. So once you're on the settings screen, we're gonna tap here on the little gear and then you're gonna tap on services and voice, and then we'll tap on add a service. Here we're going to search for Libby. All of these services are listed alphabetically, so just scroll until you get to Libby, down here in the L's, and once you see it, tap it to select, and then we're gonna tap add to Sonos. 
From here, it's going to ask you to sign in with the Libby app. Um, when you sign in, you'll be asked to authorize Sonos to use Libby, but that won't happen for your library card. You're not going to need your card number at all. If we tap on authorize, instead we'll be prompted to enter an authorization code from Libby through our web browser. So we'll tap sign in, tap authorize, and then here you can see in the Safari web browser, which is what I'm using on my iPad, yours again will look different depending on whether you're using Apple or Android, you'll be asked to enter a setup code. And you generate this code from the Libby app. So we're just going to switch back to Libby here. And then up at the top right corner of the screen, you see the Libby icon. If we tap and hold on this Libby icon, we'll get a message from Libby with a setup code. So this code, as you can see, it's counting down on its time. It's time sensitive. You have 60 seconds to use it before Libby will automatically generate a new code. What you'll do while the code is active is switch back to the authorization screen in your web browser and enter the code as it's provided here. Just an FYI, it's faster for me to write down my code and then type it into Safari. Your mileage may vary, do whatever is easier for you. I just get really panicked when I see a countdown clock happening, so I'm writing mine down. And then once you do enter the code back in Safari or your web browser, we'll get a message that we can go back to Sonos. So let's just pause really quickly. So you can see once you enter the code, you'll get a message that you can go back to Sonos. And when we do go back to the Sonos app, you'll see that now we are ready to listen and we can even provide a name for our Libby account here in Sonos. I'm just gonna call mine Libby. We'll hit done. And then it'll open a new window in the Sonos app that shows the audiobooks currently checked out to your Libby account and you can tap on one of them to start playing. After the setup process is over, you can always find the Libby app on Sonos by tapping here on the browse button at the bottom of the screen and then selecting Libby. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tap to open up my audiobook. Inside the room, the greatest bad movie ever made. Okay, so that's it. Um, you can now stream your audiobooks from the Sonos app to your device and everyone in the house can enjoy. So thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, please contact our media services department. Um, our contact information is available in the description for this video below. Um, you can also see our contact information at the end of this video. We've linked to some step-by-step -step instructions and some other resources, whether you're using an Amazon Echo, a Google Home, or other devices to connect with Libby. So thanks again for watching.